Hey folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to invert the x and y axis in Aftermath. Let's get started. Okay, so I have Aftermath opened up and I have a cyclical tamogram plotted. I want to invert the axes. Notice that for the x axis, potential, positive potential values are plotted on the right hand side, negative potential values are on the left hand side. On the y-axis, positive current is on top and negative current is on the bottom. If I want to invert the axes, say the x-axis, I'm going to double click and then the axes properties menu pops up and in the middle there's this inverted button here. I'm going to check that off and then hit OK. Now I've inverted the voltammogram, negative potentials are on the right hand side positive potentials are on the left hand side. I want to do the same thing with the Y axis for current. I can access that same menu by right clicking and then selecting properties and that same menu will pop up. I'm going to click the inverted button and then hit OK. Now on the Y axis negative current is on top and positive current is on the bottom. And now I have successfully inverted both axes. If you find yourself constantly inverting the current and potential data in Aftermath, there is a way to invert the axes so that all subsequent plots generated in Aftermath will have the axis inverted. To do that, go to My Profile, and then under the Plotting tab, you'll see on the left-hand side it says Axes Defaults. You can invert the x-axis potential or invert the y-axis current. I'm going to check these two off for our cyclic voltammetry data. And then if I go back to the plot, you'll notice that it looks the same as the original, where the positive potential is on the right hand side, negative potential on the left hand side, negative current is down, and positive current is up. But if I select these data points, copy them, create a new plot, and then I paste them you'll notice that the axes are now inverted. Negative potential is on the right, positive potential is on the left, positive current is on the bottom, and negative current is on the top. Note, if you're using the My Profile technique to invert the axes, it only applies to current and potential values. If you're doing a chronoamperometry experiment where you have current versus time, you won't be able to automatically invert the time. Invert, invert, time. invert, time. Time. invert, time. invert, time. Time. invert, the time. invert, time. invert, the time. invert, 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 time.